Hi everyone. In this video we'll show you how to update Avada via FTP. Avada updates very easily from within WordPress itself, but for various reasons you may wish to update it manually. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol and is a common way to transfer files between your local computer and your server. For this video we'll be using the popular free software, FileZilla. It's available for both Windows and Mac. Before you update Avada we recommend that you take a full site and database backup. This will ensure you're able to revert to a working point in your site in the unlikely event that anything unexpected happens. This is best practice when updating themes or plugins, but there are many ways to do this and it's beyond the scope of this video. Please follow the link in the description to read more about taking backups. To avoid any potential issues we also recommend that you give your installation a health check and ensure that your server is configured to the minimum requirements for Avada. Go to Avada System Status to check your server configuration. You can find details on what you need to check in the Requirements for Avada documentation also linked in the description below the video. Also, if you're updating from an older version of Avada, it's crucial you read the Updating Avada from Older Versions documentation, linked below, before you update, as you may need to update incrementally. The next step is to obtain a copy of the latest version of Avada. To do this, log into your ThemeForest account and go to the Downloads page, found under your profile name. Locate your Avada purchase and click the download link. You will note that there are several choices here. You can download all files and documentation, which is the Avada full package, or you can download the installable WordPress file only, as well as being able to download a copy of your license certificate and purchase code. Once you have downloaded the zip file, navigate to its location on your computer. Regardless of which package you choose to download, to upload via FTP you will need to extract the files you need. Comparing the two files available, you will see that the installable WordPress file has WordPress theme at the end of its file name, and is around 8 MB, while the full package is over 250 MB. Inside the full package zip file, you will find a folder called Avada Full Package, and inside that there is the Avada Theme folder. This folder contains a zip file called avada.zip, and it's the Avada folder in this zip file we need to extract. I'll just extract that to the desktop. Once you have extracted the files, you will see a folder called Avada. These are the exact same files we would get if we extracted the contents of the installable WordPress file only zip file. Now we have the necessary files, we need to transfer them. To do this, we need to open the FTP software. If you've never used it before, you will have to configure it to log into your server. To do this, Go to Site Manager found under the File menu and click on the New Site button. The main information you need to enter here is the host address, the username and the password. In the Host field, add the path to your server. This is usually ftp.yourdomain.com, but check with your host if you are unsure. The port is usually 21, but again if you are unsure check with your host or just leave this one empty. The login type by default will be set to Normal and all you need to do is add the FTP username and password you have set up through your host. A final tip is to go to the Advanced tab and add the default remote directory to forward slash public underscore HTML. This is the usual path to your directory that holds your website files on your server. This means that when FileZilla opens, it will open into the root folder of your web files, rather than the root folder of your server account. Once you have entered everything, click Connect. Once you have successfully connected, you will see a screen like this one. On the left hand side is our local computer, and on the right hand side is our remote site, i.e. our server. The basic idea with FTP is that you drag and drop files between your local computer and your server. To update Avada, we need to navigate to our recently downloaded and extracted Avada files. You can use the file tree on the left hand side to navigate to the files. In my example, I saved the files onto the desktop, and since that's the default location for FileZilla to open to, we're already there. In the Files section under the File tree, you can see the Avada folder there on my desktop. Now I need to navigate to the correct place to upload these files. 
On the right hand side, navigate to public underscore HTML, WP content, themes. This is the directory we need to move our Avada folder into. Before dragging the new files over to the server, it's very important to delete the old Avada theme folder already on the server. If you only overwrite the folder, then any files that were removed in the new version will remain in your site's theme files. This is because overwrite only updates exactly matching file names. This can cause issues in the theme, including fatal errors. Once you have deleted the old theme folder, simply drag the Avada folder from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, and the files will begin to transfer. You can see their transfer status at the top of the screen, and the queued files at the bottom. The process will take some time, depending on the speed of your internet connection and your server. Once the FTP program has completed transferring the files, you can close it and log into your website. There you will see a notice to update the required plugins at the top of the screen. These plugins are updated with every Avada version and need to be updated as well as the theme. Just click on the link in the notice and go through the process of updating both Avada Core and Avada Builder. If you are updating to Avada 7.3, you will also need to update your registration, as the registration method changed with that version. For more information on that, please see the link below the video. At the end of the process, your update is complete. At the top of the Avada dashboard, you will see that you have updated to the latest version, and you can visit the front end of your website to see your site has been updated without issue. In other videos, we look at how to update Avada via the WordPress dashboard, so look for that in the links in the description below. Ok, this concludes our video on how to update Avada via FTP. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.